trail. These days, yes, it was red. We have witnessed a revolution in Nairobi. What we ha- what happens after this? Politics in this country will have to change. If the government wants to allay the fear and the anger, not only of the youth, but of all the Nwananchi, of all the hustlers of great country, of this great country, they cannot continue and do as business as usual. Business has to change. Because our youth means business. As with all revolutions, and also this one, unfortunately but nearly inevitably was accompanied by violence. Oppressors against the oppressed, heavily armed security forces against poorly protected protesters. Water cannons, tear gas, life bullets against sticks and stones. Oppression against protests. Sirens and explosions against the shouting and pleading of protesters. Estate machinery shooting free at will, at free will. Blood on the streets, red. Dead bodies left behind. Wounded in the square of Holy Family Basilica. Youth killed in Gidurai. Internet influencers and student leaders abducted, tortured, and humiliated, dumped in the dark and filthy ditches of Nairobi. Revolution. Now, my dear friends, young men, as you sit here in front of me, how did you see it? How did you live it these days? And where were you these days? Maybe you felt the need to join. Maybe you wanted to shout with your age mates, with Gen Z. You wanted to shout for justice and freedom for all. Ask yourself, where do you stand in all this? Would you be ready to give your life for justice and peace in this country? Where do you stand? Where do you belong? What would you do? Christians, Catholics, are not disconnected from the events of these days. And in fact, the church should not be disconnected from the events of these days. And after an initial hesitation at Holy Family Basilica, when it had closed its gates so that protesters could not enter, on Tuesday, however, it opened its gates so that people could receive water, wash their faces, drink a bit, so that the wounded could be treated at a field hospital that had been set up within the compound. The church as a field hospital where the wounded can be taken care of, where people find water to quench their thirst, where desperate people can be consoled and lost people shown the way. It happened all very concretely these days there on the square of Holy Family Basilica in the center of town in CBD. Thanks, I would say, to the young doctors and nurses who offered their services, and thanks to the lawyers who watched the scenes unfold to build up their cases, thanks to the priests and the religious whose habits and alps were smeared with dirt and blood as they brought in the wounded and consoled those in pain and despair. They were the images of the Good Shepherd taking the lost sheep on his shoulder, and they took on, as Pope Francis would say, the smell of the sheep, And together with doctors and nurses, with lawyers and psychologists, they were like the Good Samaritans, cleaning wounds and bandaging them.